I actually just realized right now that this thing can hide in the woods, which is hilarious. But that aside, uh, yes, even though Katarine Sled has been banned from tournaments and pretty much all events, you might still see it on the quick battles from time to time, which means you probably need to know how to kill it if you're going to be playing as such. Today, Wicked the Evermod is going to be trying his hand at the Wood Elves, taking her down. It should be noted, she's without uh, her two OP side characters, the... Patriarch and Nariska, but still on her dread sled of doom here. We've got a couple of heavy war sleds to back her up. Some Zar guards, looks like some kills a bit warriors and Akshinas uh, with uh, ice guards and Kossars. Interesting. All sorts of different units there. As for uh, Wicked here, he's coming in hot with a Glade Lord. He's got a Branch Wraith, tons of Way Watchers, and by that I mean three. He's got some great Stag Knights. And uh, the Glade Riders with a Spell Singer of Beasts in the back. Looking for some... Uh, nothing. Literally nothing. Just wins a magic regeneration. So Blessing of the Ancients, Power Stone. Blessing of the Ancients in particular is just going to give a constant power recharge rate to the Branch Wraith, which will have a Melkos Mystifying Miasma and some Earth Blood. Uh, yeah, Katarine's Dread Sled, of course. Absolutely ridiculous. Um... Yeah, this person brought uh, all the spells. No, not quite, but a lot of them. Probably more than you would need. Or did they actually take all of them? Let's see. Now oh, that, yep, pretty standard stuff. So again, quick battles is not something I personally play a lot of. Uh, I used to back in the day, certainly when I was like, just trying to get more reps in. It's, I think it's a good way to just get a couple of quick reps if you're, let's say, like, you know, got... Maybe an hour before, 30 minutes before you gotta leave for work, you can get in a game or two. Um, and just, again, quick battles. Great for what it's called. Uh, not necessarily great for ranked, I guess it used to be called quick battles. Not really necessarily great for ranked matchmaking, which is what it's called now. But uh, there you go. Red Sled's engaged against Cavalry here, because what else are they gonna fight? There's not really a lot of infantry. And uh, yeah, Katarine feeling the pain of the Way Watchers. Of course, Bay Watchers armor piercing damage. Despite her broken hitbox, they're still able to get pretty consistent hits. And I haven't done a lot of testing. I know Human Boy did some testing on his channel um, about like if shooting specific angles, uh, you know, as it's moving either towards you or away from you. Maybe we can watch the health of Katarine here and see when it starts to drop significantly when these Way Watchers start shooting in, but for the time being, we're just seeing the Glade Riders kind of harass and break up this advance a little bit here for some of these infantry to react, uh, you know, the wrong thing. Little breath attack on Katarine there is going to apply some poison for the noxious gas, I believe, or maybe it's just the noxious gas. Yeah, it doesn't actually have a poison, mod poison modifier, but a percentage-based melee attack debuff, which is super rare, but uh, anyway, <clears throat> Helm of Discord being popped as well. From the male Glade Lord, got the Heavy War Sleds getting absolutely crumped by the Stag Knights, who are also paying a very heavy price from the Kislev Missiles and from Katarine. Uh, those Ice Guards definitely do quite a bit of damage to Wood Elves. The bypassing of the physical resistance by that magic damage is very good here, not to mention Frostbite helps kind of manage the Wood Elves' mobility to a large degree. Uh, we see the Snow Leopard summoned here, I believe. Yep. Coming through, helping to rout off those Stag Knights, so... Despite everything, but I was still definitely in trouble, but Katarine did take some pretty substantial damage there and without that Patriarch to heal her. She is going to be true to the damage here. Uh, yeah, some of those uh, shots actually overhitting on the Zargard just behind her, which is kind of nice, but Katarine at this point has caught up now to the Way Watchers. She's going to throw down a big old Heart of Winter, which takes time to actually get to the speed debuff component, but she does layer a secondary Ice Sheet, so... To this person, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They might have accidentally taken all of the spells. I mean, they are using Katarine's sled, so I shouldn't give them that much benefit of the doubt, but um, they are at least making good use of all of them, it seems. Nice little combo there to try and get some DPS, especially as some of Wicked's move units then move through its end phase, which is going to do a pretty good amount of damage to them, but this whole time, Katarine's been on this dread run here, away from all this support. She's just taking passive damage from these Way Watchers, and even though might be missing quite a few shots, they're hitting enough, and especially it seems like as she's pulling away, the shots that are maybe, like, aimed too far forward are actually hitting the back where they're supposed to, and she does seem to be taking some consistent damage here, so 
I don't know. Let's see. Now that she's kind of sideways on how the shots land. It looks like they're shooting the warriors and the ice guards for the time being. Kossars, actually. <laughs> Not any ice guards over here. But uh, the Kislev player are kind of getting a little bit uh, tangled up with this central pond here on the Blue Reach River map. River's over there, by the way. This pond is not the river. I get that sometimes. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yes. The point being, the terrain tangling things up for this Kislev player here, not allowing them to really use their force cohesively. Meanwhile, a wicked, very veteran player just kind of working around the side here, making sure to keep all his units together for the most part. I mean, he's been running some little attacks here and there, but uh, despite everything, still going to be pretty close. Katarine hits by our blood. She takes a few more volleys there. Yeah, see, now the shots, a lot of them are landing like too far forward, so I do think maybe while Katarine's pulling directly away from you is going to be the best time to actually try and hit her, because it does seem like what we just saw there, shots were kind of flying over the sled and landing in the horses, which don't seem to have like a Hitbox, maybe, for the missiles? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I'm sure people with more technical knowledge have opened things up and probably have a good understanding already of what's happening. I would imagine Creative Assembly also does as well. I know they've been keeping an eye on things, even if their ability to respond quickly isn't uh, necessarily there. I do know they're watching and listening and actively taking feedback on how to balance things out. Um, I, for one, am just happy we got, uh, some new battles content. The way things are, Creative Assembly, I can't speak too much about any information, but mostly just to say that, uh, yeah, resources on the battle side, and especially after the layoffs, are just generally a little bit light, and have been for some time on the Warhammer side, um, to do things in battles, so when we get a lot of new content, it becomes extra hard for them to allocate resources for balancing, basically. So, what that means is, um, yeah, basically these new content updates tend to be more of a let's get the cool stuff out, and, you know, the balance falls, they try and keep things reasonable, but the balance, they only have so much, again, time and resources to try and get feedback and determine what to do and then implement it while also making sure that they're as a priority, and I would agree with this, <laughs> you know, focusing on the bugs and fixing, uh, you know, game-breaking issues, potentially things that are just not working straight up. Um, but, confident Creative Assembly will be able to figure out Katarine's sled and increase its hitbox size and maybe figure out some other things so that it's not quite so oppressive. In this particular battle, despite it being, uh, somewhat misused, I would argue, still did an impressive 2,000 damage value. Um, yeah, just insane. But, uh, Weight Watchers, of course, are pretty much what they always have been for the most part, which is just the absolute kings of range DPS in anywhere within their range, honestly. Obviously, they're not quite as long as artillery, but they do manage to land home a volley there just barely and finish off the ice sled. I think this is the first time I've actually seen it destroyed in a battle on this channel, so there you go. With that, Kidslev is going to face some serious leadership issues. Uh, Wicked now feeling a little bit like he can be aggressive, which is definitely true. He's going to come back here with the Blade Lord, perhaps. Uh, does he have another breath attack lined up? No. He's just going to dive straight on into the the Ice Guard, unsupported. It's a risky biscuit for sure with the Helm of Discord. It should be okay, but I don't think... Yeah, he's used all his breath attacks by now. So, it's going to be a tricky situation, but uh, let's see. I mean, it's possible he won't still win, I guess. If these Waywatchers get uh, out DPSed by the Wolfhearts, who have somehow not used up their entire ammunition. Ice Guards are look looking a little more reasonable. They're about on track with the Waywatchers there. These Kislevit Warriors with their picks and, you know, axe. What is that? Is that an axe? Trident or a pitchfork? I don't even know. Various interesting implements of anti-large. Push back the Wood Elf Cavalry once more. And uh, we'll see. I mean, this Branch Wraith has also been using that mill cost. It was being used to slow Katarine, I know, because Wicked told me. It's also been getting some nice casts of Earth Blood to heal some various things. Don't know how much magic he has left by now, but at the very least, he can provide... Uh, does he have Call of the Woods, or... 
I think both of them have Call of the Woods, to be honest. Doesn't look like Wicked took it on the Branch Wraith, which does make sense. But uh, yeah, Glade Lord landing on like the only anti-large, non-anti-large troops left of Kislev. Definitely the right call. We're going to fast forward a little bit as Wicked uh, uses the rest of his ammunition here, as does a Kislev player. I see some cycle charging for the dragon. Great stag knights as well, coming in for a little hit and run charge. Break up the advance there. Make sure my watchers can actually use every single arrow in their quiver, which they're definitely going to need to. And then move in for some combat themselves. The one thing about Kislev warriors, they are very, very good. And the loose formation is generally a very good thing. There are some situations, though, where it's not great. And one of those things being charged in, like, the flank or the rear. Don't get as much bracing, especially um, even from the front, to be honest. Especially against a very high mass unit like Stag Knights or, like, a big dragon or something. But uh, Wicked all in. Stag Knights charge in. Stag Dragon charges in. I gotta say, I love the love the antlers on the forest dragon. Such a nice touch. Branch Wraith holding the line a little bit here. Or the, uh, sorry, the Lore of Beasts spell singer comes out to be the anvil. Or the hammer. There's the stags. Yeah. Looks like his Kislev's facing army losses. And once that last by our blood drops, that'll be it. So, quite the game. Yeah, Marty McFly here coming in hot with Katarine's sled, and it nearly won in the game despite everything. Ice Guard's also a decent pick in this matchup if they're not the focus of the counterfire and can stay reasonably safe from cavalry. The Glaives are pretty good at that, especially, I guess. But, uh, yeah, being countered very well by the classic Way Watchers. You know, Wood Elves, I really respect, even though I don't play Wood Elves a lot and they're not my favorite faction by any means, I do definitely respect, you know, any problem you come across just fill its face with arrows like it's a very kind of like skyrim approach i feel like but uh absolutely appropriate when it comes to dealing with any and all threats so there you go hopefully you enjoyed if you like this sort of content be sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification every time i upload a new video you'll be notified thanks again we'll see you next time